And welcome to the new video of organic chemistry, the study of hydrocarbon and its derivative. This is the third series, third video on organic chemistry. And today, in today's video, we shall discuss isomerism. Isomerism. That is what we shall discuss. Isomerism. What is iso? Iso means the same. Merism means divide. The same divide. That means when you have two or more things that have the same thing in common, and there's something that divided as iso means the same. Merism means divide. And what is isomerism? Isomerism. Isomerism. This is the existence of two or more compounds. Two or more compounds having the same, the same molecular formula. Molecular molecular formula but different properties but different properties that is isomerism isomerism this is isomerism but when you put different structural formula that is for structural isomerism take note there is difference between isomerism and structural isomerism. Structural isomerism is an example, it's a type of isomerism. Take note, the definition of isomerism. This is the existence of two or more compounds having the same molecular formula, but different property, but different property. And let us look, look at this. I said they have the same, there's something they have in common, and there's something that will are divided. That means what do they have in common? The same molecular formula. They have the same molecular formula in common, then they have what different properties. Properties what divide them. When you have two or more compounds with the same thing, molecular formula, but what really divide them is what properties. That is what isomerism. That is isomerism. And let us look at types of isomerism because we have a lot of questions. From Jan, question on it came out 2006, 2010, 2016, 18, 19. You will see question on what isomerism, types of isomerism. Let us move to types of isomerism. 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 We have two types of isomerism. It can be divided into two types. We have structural isomerism and we have stereo isomerism. We have stereo isomerism. This one is divided into six. We have six types, which are our chain iso. We have position, or you can say positional isomerism. We have functional group FG, functional group isomerism. We have ring chain isomerism. We have metamerism. We have tatomerism. These are the six types of our structural isomerism we have, and we are going to look at them one after the other. Then I will give you an example. Please take note of that. Then um, under stereo isomerism is divided into two. We have configuration. 
we have configuration isomerism. This one is divided into two. We have configuration isomerism. Configuration isomerism and we have conformational. Conformational isomerism. We have configurational isomerism and we have what? Conformational isomerism. This one is divided into two. We have geometric isomerism. We have optical isomerism. Optical isomerism is divided into two. We have via stereoma and we have enatioma. We have enatioma. Take note of that. And for jam, we are going to look at the structural isomerism and we are going to look at our geometric and optical isomerism. We won't talk much on uh, the stereoma and what? And natrium, uh, we are not going to talk on what conformational isomerism because your scheme of work they ask for that. Your scheme of work only asks for geometric, optical, and you ask for what the structural isomerism. What is structural isomerism? Take note, or let me say, characteristic of structural isomerism. Characteristic of structural, or let me give you. Many of structural isomerism. This is the existence of two existence existence of two or more compound having the same molecular formula. But different structural formula, but different structural structural formula. Take note of that. That is structural isomerism. The existence of two or more compounds having the same molecular formula, but different word structural formula, but different word structural formula. That is your uh, structural isomerism. The existence of two or more compounds having the same molecular formula or different or structural formula. The difference in the structural formula we test, we make them to have a different chemical property and a different physical property. Take note of that. The 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 different in the in their the structural formula. The different in their structural formula. We make them to have a different physical property and different world chemical property. Let me give you the characteristics of structural isomerism. Characteristics of structural isomerism. Take note, isomerism. Existence of two or more compounds having the same molecular formula but different properties. The structural isomerism, the existence of two or more compounds having the same molecular formula but different structural formula. And these are the types of what? Structural isomerism. And I believe that you've written down all this. Please, you can pause the video and uh, put down all these types of what? Structural isomerism, types of stereo isomerism. And take note, geometric isomerism and optical isomerism are example of what? Configurational isomerism. Please take note of that. Now let us move. Let me give you characteristics. <clears throat> characteristics of structural isomerism. Characteristics of structural isomerism. Characteristics of structural. Isomerism. Uh, statistics of structural isomerism. Number one, 
They have, that means when you have two or more compounds, having the same two or more compound must have the same molecular formula. Must have the same molecular formula. That was first one. Number two, that means two or more compound must have the same molecular formula. They must have the same molecular formula. When you have two or more compounds having the same molecular formula. And under the types, I will be giving you an example. Just be calm. Please be calm. Just first of all, notice characteristic. Two or more compounds must have the same molecular formula. They have different structural formula. They have different structural formula. I will explain. Three, they have, when you have two or more compounds having different structural formula, two or more compounds having different word properties. They have different properties. They have different properties. Next one, which is number four, which is number four, Structural isomer. Take note of this, very important. Structural isomer increases with increase in molecular mass. Take note. Structural isomers increases with what increase in molecular mass. For an example, let me quickly explain this. For an example, when you have the homologous series, okay, when you have methane, the first member, we have ethane, the second member, propane, the third member, butane, the fourth member. Uh, methane, the fifth member. You have SA, the sixth member. Take note, isomerism starts with what? The fourth carbon, this. Isomerism starts with what? Fourth carbon. It has the simplest word, chain. That means isomer. For okay, start with the word fourth carbon. Isomerism starts with what? Fourth carbon. That's why right. this one has isomer. How many isomer can be found in butane? We have the formula that says 2n raised to the power 4 plus 1. That means when n plus 4, we have 2 raised to the power 4 minus 4 plus 1. That means 0, 2 raised to the power 0 plus 1. That means this one has two isomers. It has two isomers. It has two or isomers. Therefore, Pentane. Pentane has three isomers. Three isomers. Pentane has what? How many isomers? Three isomers. This one, SA, has what? SA has five isomers. Five isomers. Five isomers. SA has five isomers. Then this one says structural isomer increases with increase in molecular mass. As there is increase in molecular mass, their isomer word increases. What is the molecular mass of this? That means carbon is 12, don't forget. Carbon is 12, hydrogen is 1. This one, 12 times 4, we give you all 48. 48 plus 10, give you all 58. The molecular mass of this one is what? 58 gram per mole. This one, what is molecular mass of this? Carbon is 12, 12 times 5, 60. 60 plus 12, 72. Can you see, as the molecular mass increases, what happens to the number of isomer? It increases. The structural isomer increases as molecular mass increases. That's one of the characteristics of what structural isomerism. The structural isomer increases 
as Mubuku Lamas increases. Bute, that is where isomerism starts. The isomers of Bute is two. Why the isomers of all uh, pentane three? The isomers of all uh, exit is five. As the molecular mass is increasing, for the next one, ethane, the isomer of ethane is nine. It has nine isomers. If you use this formula to calculate, nine isomers. As the molecular mass increases, the structural isomer increases. Those are the characteristics of what isomerism. Please take note of them. Then let us move to what each of the world types of structural isomer. Please take note when we get to one chemistry of our okay, I will still teach you how to use this word, this formula to get number of isomer. Or before I finish this class, no worry, I will do that of our king, our king, and our kind, if that permits. But if not, when we get to our king, I will give you the one of our king, the one of our king, the one of our, our kind. Please let's move. Let's go to what each of the types of structural isomers. Each of the types of structural isomers. Each of the types of structural isomers. The first one <clears throat> is what chain isomers. Chain. Chain isomerism, right? This uh, is the existence, existence of two or more compound having the same, the same molecular formula, molecular formula but different arrangements or different arrangement of carbon atoms. Take note. Take note. Chain isomerism. The existence of two or more compounds, two or more compounds having the same molecular formula, but different arrangement of carbon at all. Example, look at this. E.g. Butane. Butane. What is butane? C4H10. 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 I can have this butane, normal butane, which is CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. Look at this. How many carbon do I have? One, two, three, four. How many hydrogen? 3 plus 2, 5 plus 2, 7 plus 3, 10. This is what? N butane, normal butane. Then I can get isomer of this. That means I can have CH3. Bring this CH3, this one, this CH3. Bring it down to this place. That means I will have CH3. Since I'm bringing this one as an acute group, that means I've taught you a cube group. Go to the second video, you will see the meaning of a cube group. Take note of that. Bring this one down here yeah, as an a cube group. Then you will remove one hydrogen atom. Then give it to this one, CH3. That means I'm bringing this one down here. This one, I'm bringing it down here. Since I'm bringing this one down here, I will remove one hydrogen, give it to this. Because the two hydrogen, the two carbon, at the, the beginning and the end was carried toward three hydrogen atoms in our cane. The first and the last carbon was carried toward three hydrogen atoms in our cane. Take note of that. Then this one. Look at this. This is a branch, which is known as one methyl. Methyl. That means, if you look at this word, structure, what is the name? The name of this structure is what? This Methyl is attached to what? Second carbon atom. This is second carbon atom. That means this methyl attached to second carbon atom. We have two methyl, two methyl, one, two, three. Three carbon is what? Propane. Two methyl what? Propane. Two methyl propane is an isomer of what? Butane. They have the same 
molecular formula. What is the molecular formula? C for H10. Look at the number of carbon here. One, two, three, four. How many hydrogen? Three plus one, four plus three, seven plus three, ten. The same molecular formula. But different arrangement of carbon atom. Can you see different arrangement of carbon atom? This one is long chain. This one is what? Branch. Long chain with what? Branch. Different arrangement of what? Carbon atom. This is an example of what? Chain isomerism. When you have two or more compounds having the same molecular formula, but different arrangement of what? Carbon atom. That's what structural isomerism. Take note of this. Another example, you can have something like this. Another example, you can pause this video and write this one out. You can have another example like this. Let me give you this one. <coughs> Under the same alkyl family. Let me put pentane. 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 Pentane is for C5 H12. Using the general formula. Don't forget of RK. I told you when N got to 5. You have this pentane. I can have CH3, CH2, CH2. CH2, CH, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3. This normal pentane. Normal pentane. Then this one, I can have isomer of this. This CH3, I can bring it down to this place. That means I will have, I will have <coughs> CH3, CH2. This one, bring it down here. That means CH, CH3. Then CH3. Look at this. Look at this. The same molecular formula. How many carbon atoms? One, two, three, four, five. How many carbon atoms here? One, two, three, four, five. How many hydrogen? Five, seven, nine, twelve. How many hydrogen? Five, seven, five, eight, nine, twelve. Five, eight, nine, twelve. Hydrogen atom. That means, and the name of this one. That means one, two, one, two. I will still teach you how to name nomenclature. A car. Just a car. Please take note. One, two. This methyl is attached to carbon, second carbon atom. And this one is two methyl, methyl, one, two, three, four, butane. It's an isomer of what? Pentane. Take note. The same molecular formula, which is six, five, H12, but different arrangement of carbon atom. That is chain isomerism. That is chain isomerism. Let's move to the second type of isomerism, which is what? Position isomerism. Position isomerism. Position isomerism. Position. Take note. Before I move to note, okay, can only undergo chain isomerism. Take note of that. Take note of that. Please take note of that. Alkane can only undergo chain isomerism. Take note of that. The only isomerism, the only isomerism, structural isomerism, alkane can undergo is what chain isomerism. The only structural isomerism. The only isomerism I can undergo is what chain isomerism. Take note of that. Let us go to the next one. Position isomerism. Positional isomerism. Position isomerism. Positional. This is a Existence of two or more <coughs> compounds having the same, they have the same molecular formula, the same molecular formula, but different positioning. Positioning, different positioning of their functional group. Take note. 
different positioning of the functional group. Take note of that. Different positioning of the functional group. Thank you. Different positioning on the functional group. That's why it is called position isomerism. When you have two or more compounds, they have the same functional group, but the positioning of the functional group is different. When you have two or more compounds, having the same molecular formula with the same functional group, but the positioning of the functional group is what different. That is what position isomerism. When you have two or more word, organic compound, having the same molecular formula, the same functional group, in which the positioning, positioning of the functional group, the positioning of the functional group is different. That is all positional isomerism. Let me give you an example. Let me explain for example. Have you written this? I hope you've written that. <clears throat> Position isomerism. Look at this. When you have CH3, CH, CH2, CH, CH2. Look at this. What is the functional group? You should know that this is under word alkene double ELE double word alkene. I told you that under our double bond series double bond. And the functional group is what the double bond carbon the double bond between the word carbon carbon atom double bond. Look at this. The name of this is what boot one two three four one two three four boot four carbon atom. Then the double bond is after the first carbon atom. This one is the first carbon atom, not this. The double, you will come from the point in which is close to the word functional group. Uh, what is close to the functional group is this one. That means this one is the double bond. That means one. And the double bond is after the first carbon. Boot one in. I can change the position of this double bond, which is the functional group. I can change the position of this double bond. Which is the functional group. And we are going to bring this one in between these two. That means we have another one. We have CH3, CH. Then this one is coming here, double bond, CH. Then I'm going to have CH3. That means come from the point close to the functional group, one, two. This one, two, one, two. I can take any point. One, two. That means, or one, two. They are, if I come from this side, it's one, two. Come from this side, one, two. That means I can take any more. That means one, two. That means boot. This double bond is after the second carbon atom. Two, E. This one is an isomer of this one. What kind of isomer? Positional isomerism. They have the same molecular formula, but different positioning of their word functional group. The same molecular formula, and they have the same functional group, but the positioning of the functional group is what different. And let us look if they have the same molecular formula. How many carbon atoms is here? One, two, three, four. That means C four. How many carbon atoms is here? One, two, three, four. C four. How many hydrogen is here? Three, five, six, eight. H eight. How many hydrogen is here? Three, four, five. Eight, H8. They have the same word, molecular word formula, C for H8, but different word positioning of their word functional group. That's what functional isomerism. Another example, look at this. When you have this, um, look at this. If I have CH3, CH2, CH2, CH2. One, two, three, four. Okay. Where you have CH. Look at this. Look at this. And let me change the position of this. I will have CH3, CH2, C, C, CH3. This is example number one. Look at this. Okay. Look at this. 
How many carbon atoms? One, two, three, four, five. How many carbon atoms? One, two, three, four, five. How many hydrogen? Five. Seven. Five, seven, eight. How many hydrogen? Five, eight. That means we have C5H what? Eight. Yeah. This one is what? C5H8. That means this thing is under what? A time. But this one, let us name this one. Five carbon atom under a time is what? Ten time. But look at this one. This one is what? Triple bond after the first carbon atom. That means pent one and. This one is what? Pent one, two. Two step. One, two, three. Three step. I will come from the point closer to the functional group. One, two. Pent. Then triple bond after the two carbon pent what? Two and. Can you see? They are isomer. What kind of isomer? Positional wall isomer. Take note. When there is wall, they have the same molecular formula, but different in positioning of their wall functional. That is what positional isomerism. Let us go to the third one. We shall be fast. Let us be fast. This the third one, which is what functional group isomerism. Functional group isomerism. Functional group isomerism. Functional, functional, functional. Very functional. Functional group isomerism. Hmm. This one, I want you to listen uh, carefully. Is functional group isomerism, functional group isomerism, functional group isomerism. Existence of two or more compounds having the same molecular formula. Molecular formula, but different, hmm, but different functional, functional word group. Get no, but different word functional group. Hmm. I want you to take note of this. They have the same molecular formula, but different word functional group. Different functional group. I will only give you two examples. I'll give you other types of what? Uh, uh, homologous series that exhibit what? This. I will only explain two, and but give you types, two or three other types without explanation. That means existence of two or more compounds having the same molecular formula but different functional group. Let me give you an example. Example. When you have this, the kind of isomer between when you have C two or let me say C two H five O H. Let me give it to you as C two A six C two A six O C two A six O. This one example of homologous series that is a bit what. Functional group isomerism. We have alkanon and what? Alkoziakane. Alkanon and alkoziakane, which is also known as what? Eta. Alkanon, which is also known as what? Alcohol. The kind of what? Isomerism that occur between alkanon and alkoziakane. That means Alcohol and ether is known as a functional group isomerism. The kind of isomerism that occurs between alkanol and alkoziakane, that means alkanol and ether, is a functional group isomerism. Let me use this. I can have this as CH3. Look at this. CHHOH. This one is called C2H5OH. This one. 
I'm using C to A6O. For this one, we have C, C to H5OH. This one is for ethanol. Ethanol. Then look at this. If and I have something like this, this O, this is the functional group of alcohol, OH, hydrogen. Functional group of alcohol, OH. Then you will now change this functional group and now make it another functional group. And I have divalent oxygen. Divalent oxygen. Divalent oxygen. Which is functional group of what? Alcohol, okay? Divalent oxygen. Hydrosy, functional group of alcohol. Hydrosy, functional group of alcohol. Hydrosy, functional group of alcohol. If I have hydrosy, functional group of alcohol, hydrosy, functional functional group isomerism. Functional group isomerism. Second example. It occurs between alcohol and alcohol. Alcohol. I'm sorry, alcana and alcohol. Alcana is adehyde. Adehyde. Another name for alcohol is what? Keto. 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 The kind of functional group, the kind of what? Isomerism that occur between alcana. Take note. Is there your past question? Alcana and alcohol. The kind of functional isomerism that occur between them is known as Functional group isomerism. Functional group isomerism occur between alkana, which is aldehyde, and alkanon, ketone. An example when you have C3H6O, C3H6O, when you have something like this, when you have something like this, this is propana, propana. 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 This is the functional group of alkana. Idea. This one is alkana. Alkana. The functional group is what? CHO. CHO. The functional group is this. Then if there is change in the functional group, if there is difference in the functional group, you will have something like this. CH, H, H. Then you have this C H H H. This one is for uh, propan two on propan two on propan two on propan two on. Can you see change in what in functional group? They have the same molecular formula, but their functional group is not the same. How many carbon is there? One, two, three, three. One, two, three, three. How many hydrogen? One, two, three, four, five, six, six. How many hydrogen? One, two, three, four, five, six, six. How many oxygen? One. How many oxygen? One. That means they have the same molecular formula, but different functional group. That kind of isomerism is known as what? Functional group isomerism. It occurs between alkana and alkanon. It also occurs between what? Alkanoic acid. And what? Alkanoid. Alkanoid. Alkanoid acid and alkanoid. It occurs between this one and this one. It also occurs among the world, among the world, amine. The type of amine. When you have primary amine, primary amine, when you replace one atom of hydrogen in ammonia by one half, then secondary amine. Secondary amine, you have two, two of what? R, two R. Let me write it here, this, so that you can understand. You can understand. Is it okay like this? Is it okay? Okay, let me see if we are done. I hope you've written this. Okay, let me rub this one off. The functional group isomerism occur between Akana and Akanoa. Take note. Alkanoic acid and alkanoid. Another name for alkanoid is ester. It occurs between this one is carboxylic acid. It occurs between the first one I gave to you. That is alkanol. 
Akano, that means Akano, that means Apo, Apo, or and what Apo Zake and Apo Zake. That means Eta, Eta. That means what kind of isomerism that will come between these two functional group? Between these two functional group, between these two functional group isomerism. This one is this. Propana. Propana 2 or take note. Then another where you can another place you can see functional group isomerism. When you have primary amine, primary amine is where you replace, where you replace, this is ammonia. Replace one atom of hydrogen in ammonia with R. You have this primary amine. Secondary amine. When you replace another hydrogen in this one, that means with another R, you have secondary amine. Then tertiary amine. When you replace this one too with another R, tertiary amine, you have N, R, R, then R. This one is tertiary amine. Then the kind of isomerism that occurs in them is also known as functional group isomerism. Functional group isomerism. Functional group isomerism occur in three of them. Functional group isomerism. I don't need to give the example because of time. The one of this one, we can have the one of this one, we have what uh, ethanoic acid and methyl ethanoid. This one, ethanoic acid. And methyl ethanoate, ethanoic acid and methyl methanoate, methyl methanoate. Take note. Let's move. Let's go to the next type of isomerism ring chain isomerism. 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 Uh, when you have two or more compound ring chain, two or more compound having the same molecular formula. But Possessing, possessing open and cyclic, open and cyclic word structure. Possessing open and word cyclic word structure. When you have them possessing open and word uh, cyclic word structure. Cyclic structure is what closed. This one is what closed chain. Close structure. When you have two or more compounds having the same molecular formula, but possessing open and cyclic wall structure. An example, e.g., when you have this pro one in pro one in, which is CH3, CH, CH2, pro one in. This one can give you this when you have something like this. This yeah, this. This is for cyclopropane. Cyclopropane, which is can also be done CH2, 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 CH2. That's the structure. How many carbon do you have? One, two, three. One, two, three. How many hydrogen? Four. Six. Two plus two, four plus two, six. This is from one in a cyclopropane. The exhibit isomerism. What kind of isomerism? Ring chain. Ring chain isomerism. Ring chain word isomerism. They have the same word molecular formula, but they possess open and cyclic. This one is open chain, while this one is for cyclic chain, which is closed. Closed chain, closed chain. 
When you have two or more compounds having the same molecular formula, but possessing open and world, cyclic world structure. Open and world, closed chain structure. Cyclic structure means what? Closed chain. Two or more compounds having the same molecular formula, which is for C3. I see C3. How many age? That means six age. That means C3. How many age? Six age. The same molecular formula. But possessing open and cyclic wall structure, open and cyclic, open and closed structure. Cyclic structure means what? Closed structure. No, that's an example of ring chain. Another example of ring chain. Let me give you the last one before we go to metamerism. Then we are through. In the next few minutes, we'll be true. Another example where you have. Mm, Boot one in, boot one in. That means CH three, CH two, CH, CH two. Yeah, one two three four. Yeah. Then when you have this, CH two, CH two, CH two, CH two, CH two. This is what cyclo. Butane. Why? They are all same chain, no double chain. They are all same. That means it can be drawn like this. One, two, three, four. Four carbon. One, two, three, four. How many hydrogen? Four, six, eight. How many hydrogen? Five, six, eight. How many carbon? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hydrogen eight. Hydrogen eight. That means what kind of isomerism? Ring chain isomerism. That is an example of ring chain isomerism. It occurs between what? Alkene and what? Cycloalkane. It occurs between alkene and what? Cycloalkane. It occurs between alkene and cycloalkane. Let's move further. Let's go to what? Metamerism. 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 Meta. Merism. Meta. Merism. This is the existence of two or more compounds. Having the same molecular formula, having the same molecular what formula, having the same molecular formula, but different acyl group, different acyl group <coughs> at or on, on different groups on either side, either side of the of their functional of their functional group. That is metamerism. Metamerism. That is metamerism. Existence of two or more compound. Having the same molecular formula but different acute groups on either side of their functional group. It occurs within Akosia K. It occurs within Akosi word K. Let me give you an example. It occurs within Akosia K. That means within Esther. This one can occur within an homologous series. Homologous series is eta. Eta, that means Akosia K, is an homologous series. Eta is an homologous series. That means Akosi K. Then this kind of isomerism occur in this word, homologous series, Akosia K. Let me illustrate that with an example. Let me give you an example. That means existence of two or more compounds having the same molecular formula but different acute. Take note, 
but different ethnic groups on either side of their war functional group. When you have this, is it when you have something like this? CH3 O CH2 CH2 CH3. Time see how many come on? One, two, three, four. If I now bring this O, which is the functional group, or this is eta, eta family, eta family. Both of them are eta family. That means Akosi okay. And I'll bring this functional group, divalent oxygen, to this one. And we have another thing. CH3. CH3. O. CH3. CH3. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? How many that one is there? One, two, three, four. C4. How many hydrogen? Five, seven, ten. How many carbon? One, two, three, four, C4. How many hydrogen? Five, seven, ten. Can I see? How many oxygen? One. The name of this is what? Metosy. Metosy. Then three carbon. Propane. But in this case now, it's what? Two carbon. Etosy. Then there two. Uh, hey. <laughs> now you see, this is what metamerism. When you have two or more compounds having the same molecular formula, but different archi group, different archi group at the either side of their world functional group, different archi group, archi group on the either side of their world functional group. That is what meta medicine. Meta medicine. And the next one, which is called tacto medicine. On that is, I'll just give you the word, uh, the condition uh, at which tacto medicine can work, occur. The condition at which tacto medicine can occur. So that I can quickly stop on what uh, geometric iso medicine. So that I can put it on geometry isomerism. Right, metamerism. Meta, oh, tactomerism, right? Tacto, tacto, medicine. Tactomerism, 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 tactomerism. Listen, this one is the only isomerism in which compound exists in equilibrium, dynamic equilibrium. In which compound exists in what? Dynamic equilibrium. Compound exists in dynamic equilibrium. And this kind of isomer can only occur in the presence of what? Catalyst. This kind of isomer, that means, take note, this kind of isomerism can only occur in the presence of catalyst. In the presence of catalyst. Take note. And take note of this. The compound, the compound involved in this kind of isomerism are uh, in dynamic dynamic equilibrium equilibrium they are in dynamic equilibrium take note of that example of this when you have ketone and what enum this one the, is an example. These two exhibit what? Tactomerism. They exhibit tactomerism. And it can take a lot of what? OV2 for me to explain tactomerism. But in term, they can't go beyond this. And it's, it's a kind of isomerism that occurs in the presence of what? Catalyst. It occurs in the presence of catalyst. And the compound involved, they are in what? 
dynamic equilibrium. There's no need to for me to waste time. Like you say, you say a video on tactometrism will be released in which I will explain the uh, uh, meaning of tactometrism and the structure of our compound that exhibit tactometrism. Let us go to the last one uh, for today, which is for stereo isomerism. Stereo isomerism. Stereo isomerism. I said this one can be divided into two. I will quickly explain this because of time. We have configuration isomerism, our conformational isomerism. I won't talk on conformational isomerism. I will only talk on we have geometric isomer isomerism. Geometric isomerism. And I will talk on what optical, optical isomerism. Take this one, geometric isomerism, geometric isomerism. This is the existence. This is the existence. This is the existence. Is it okay like this? This is the existence. Existence. Uh, two or uh, more compounds having the same molecular formula, MF, molecular formula, but different spatial arrangement, arrangement, or different spatial Arrangement, arrangement, arrangement of atoms. Take note. Different spatial arrangement of atom. That means different uh, orientation in space. Different orientation in space. They are two or this is existence of two or more compound having the same molecular formula but different world spatial arrangement of atoms. And this geometric isomerism is further divided into two which are what? Cis and what? Trans. Cis and trans. Cis and trans. Cis and trans. Take note, cis and trans, they are types of what? Geometric isomerism. That question came out 2016 in Jam. Is there in 2006 also? Is there in 2014? Which of the following is an example of what? Geometric isomerism. The answer six and word trans. They are example of what? Geometric word isomerism. Geometric isomerism. For compound to exhibit geometric isomerism, they must be double covalent, covalently bonded. They must be what? Double covalently what? Bonded. They must be what? Double covalently what? Bonded. Now this this isomerism, geometric isomerism, can be undergone by what? Alkene, because alkene is what? Double bond. Alkene is what? Double bond. Alkene is what? Double bond. And another thing is that the compound that must undergo this geometric covalent bond under alkene must not have the same, must not have the same groups of atom after the covalent bond. That means the group of atom that must be attached to the covalent bond must not be the same. The group of atoms that must be attached to the covalent bond must not be the same. Must not be the same. And the compound that can undergo what geometric isomerism is what the alkene, alkene family. And the what group of atoms that must, or the group that must be attached to that 
double covalent bond must not be the same at the same side. That means they must not be the same. Please, when you have this, when you have this, for example, look at this. Look at this. When you have this can exhibit what? This is what? Cease. When you have something like this. This is trapped. But in a case where you have something like this, how many carbon? One, two, four. One, two, three, four. How many hydrogen? Five, six, seven, eight. How many hydrogen? Six, seven, eight. This one cannot undergo cis and trans. Why? Can you see these atoms? They are the same. This one cannot undergo or cis and see it's a, it is an alkene. It is an alkene, but it cannot undergo cis and trans. It cannot undergo or geometric isomerism. The one that can undergo geometric isomerism, when you are what the what the same group of what atoms are the same side or adjacently opposite what each other like this, like this, or like this. This is what when you have this cis that means this group of atoms they are at the same what side. But this group of atoms, they are what adjacently opposing what each other, adjacently opposite to what each other. This is what cis and what trans. This one cannot undergo geometric isomerism. This one is an akin, but it cannot undergo geometric. Not all akin can undergo geometric isomerism. Not all akin. This is an akin. But you can't undergo geometric or isomerism. Take note of that. Take note of that. Take note of that. Then look at this. I've seen on geometric isomerism. When you have, you have this. Uh, if you like, I can put it here. I can put it here. Yeah, I can have something like this. I can have something like this. This is our cis. How many carbon atom? One, two, three, four. Both. One, two. The double bonds after the word second carbon atom. Two in. This is our cis between in. Why this? When they are what adjacent each other. Adjacent. That is if you have something like this. This one is what trans. Then trans what boot to in. Take note, trans boot to in. Take note, cis as aya boiling and melting point than trans. Because of I intermolecular force or bond. Take note. Take note. Since as higher boiling point and melting point, that word trans. And it's between these two, what you see, when you are what this. The same group of atom or the same group at the same side. This is cis. But when you have them adjacent each other, it's trans. This cis has higher boiling point than what trans because of what uh, I intermolecular bond in cis. And cis is what more polar. Cis is more polar. Another thing, cis, 
six geometric isomerism is more polar than trans. Okay, take note of that. Cis isomerism is more polar than trans. Take note of that. Uh, take note of that. For a, for, for a compound to undergo what? Geometric isomerism, which are cis and trans, the compound will be what? Covalently what? Bonded. Then you must not have what? The same what? Atoms or group attached to what? The covalent bond at the same what? Side. That means all the atoms, they must not be the what? The same as the one I gave earlier. Take note of that. Let us go to what? Optical isomerism. Before we call it a day, optical isomerism. Uh, please, I will advise you, please press the subscribe button. Press the subscribe button and share this video with your friends. And also, what? Put on the notification word uh, button. Put on the notification word signal and press the subscribe button and comment. Comment. Comment if there's something you need. Uh, the number you will say a number you can call if there's something if there's something you could not well, understand you can call us those number on the wall on the screen we are ready to uh, attend to you then for financial support no amount of money is too small no amount of money is too big for financial support you will see account number on the screen you can please send for any amount you feel you can afford. No amount is too big. No amount is too small. Thank you. Let's move to optical isomerism. Optical isomerism. Optical isomerism. Optical isomerism. Listen. For compound to exhibit optical isomerism, the compound must be Asymmetric in nature. Asymmetric in what? Nature. For compound to what? Exhibit optical isomerism, it was what? Asymmetric in what? Nature. Optical isomerism. For compound to exhibit optical isomerism, the compound was the word uh, asymmetric in nature. What is the meaning of asymmetry? That means do we uh, uh, asymmetric compound means a compound that has four different atoms attached to one carbon atom. Four different atoms attached to one carbon atom. Four different atoms attached to one carbon atom. This is asymmetrical. Asymmetrical compound. When you have four different groups, I'm sorry. Four different atoms or four different groups, four different atoms. When you have asymmetrical means when you have a four different, four different, four different groups or atoms attached attached to to a carbon atom. When you have four different groups or uh, atoms attached to a carbon atom, this is a carbon atom. This carbon atom is what asymmetrical in what nature. Why? Because we have four different groups. This is what hydrogen atom. This is what methyl. This is what hydrosy. This is what carbosy. That means hydrogen, methyl, hydrosy, carbosy. Four different groups attached to what one carbon atom. This is what asymmetrical. It is asymmetric in what nature. This is a kind of a compound that can exhibit what optical isomerism. It can exhibit what optical isomerism. When you have this, when you have this, you have this is a mirror, and you have C C O H. You have CH3, CHOH. Then 
the image of the form, you have C, you have what? C O O H, you have what? H3C, you have what? Hydrogen, you have H O, you have this. This is what? Asymmetrical. That means this compound is asymmetrical. Then it can uh, exhibit what? Optical isomerism. Take note, this question came out in Jam, maybe 2016. They say which of the following compound can exhibit what uh, optical isomerism? A compound that is what asymmetrical in nature that have four different group of atoms or four different group attached to one carbon atom is asymmetrical in nature. Please, for more video on organic chemistry, please press the subscribe button. Please subscribe, share, and um, please tell your friend. Please share to your friend. Please, we need more people on this uh, YouTube channel. Thank you.